One, two, three. You're live, Bug. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the fifth video in the GOAT one ton build. We got the axles back from John at Auburn Off-Road. And John helped us with the first build that we did with the GOAT, so we know that he does excellent work. And he helped us with the internals last time, with the gears and the lockers. And speaking of internals, we are now partnered with Yukon Gear and Axle. Hooray! So we've got Yukon gears in there, we've got chromoly axles, we got Yukon hubs, and we got the Yukon diff cover. It's beautiful. And so we are super proud to represent Yukon. And you know what? We're proud to be purple. All right, so we got the Dana 60 up on the sawhorses. We got the crew here, and finally, I am done being sick and corona and side jobs, so I can be here. I'm super excited. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. Look at Josh. He's excited. Bug, <laughs> Bug you excited? Very. You see me all the time. You <laughs> I'm glad you're here. No, yeah. now that we got the three amigos, let's knock this out. We can multitask. We can film. We can do it all. All right. I think what I would like to do today, I would like to strip this, cut this off, Cut this off, clean all that stuff up, and then we'll test fit the, the truss. Uh, truss and everything Sweet. on it. Sweet. The Artec truss. Yep. Let's do it. What was the estimated time to install that truss? Six to eight hours. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces, but we'll see. <laughs> I bet we can beat it, right? Josh, you gonna beat it? I beat it. Okay. <laughs> beat it. So Josh starts off by removing the old spring perches with his fire torch. What is Josh playing with? Fire wrench. Yes. There she is. Josh even gave me a lesson in how to use a fire torch. Now you can pull your push tip on there. Slower. A little bit slower. Yep. It was really cool. After removing that last piece, he uses the torch to clean up what is left. I don't see any scars in the axle at all. I tried. Nicely done. Then we switch over to the grinder to give it a smooth finish. What do you got in your hand? Medevo! That's it, Bug. Violent! Oh, oh, Josh has got safety over there. Instead of fire watch, Josh is grinder watch. He's gonna, he's gonna pull it on the bug. As soon as he hears that, ah, go. Yep. I'll throw this thing. No, don't you throw, Bug. It'll come back at you. No, it'll attack all of us. It'll attack you. Right. <laughs> it will. All of us. Just keep filming, though. Okay. That's content. So all right, Josh. Is, uh, while Joe's over there grinding away, Josh is over here playing and unboxing the Artec truss kit. Things are getting exciting now. So, since you're right there, uh, just like uh, that, I'm gonna try something. Oh, gotcha, okay. Drum roll. Yeah. Put it together, okay. Got it. There you go. We'll have to notch that out. Like that. So we'll wanna have, so that'll have a banjo not coming off, right? So we'll wanna notch. That it sucks because that's already notched, <laughs> yeah. but it might not take that much to get it out. And if it does, it, it is what it is. Well, that in the place. Sweet. Boy, that's definitely gonna have to look at this. Yeah. Right, right. It's a puzzle for sure. At least they're numbered, paint by number. Oh, are they? They mm. are. They're uh, laser etched. Oh, sweet. Is if we were to drill a hole right have a retainer. Here, Right. Put a nut thread in it, and then have a retainer that comes over the end of the spring, bolt it down, and it will hold this part of this leaf spring, yeah. or the coil spring in. That'll work. Yeah, that is perfect. I'd be willing to port a ban this top section and cut in this so it fits in there and fits down inside so like cut it down to here we just and we got to check the lower control arm bracket too to see where it fits yeah and maybe oh. not take it all the way around 
Because you could just cut it around and then and then uh, use a gro you know a cutoff wheel and pop it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be a pain, but not not horrible. So yeah, you don't want to get into the axle tube. You're just going to cut down. We'll have to mark out two inches a line and just and just cut it. Cut just the top. Maybe. You can, you can really see it here, honey. See where it's cut? Mm-hmm. And that, that goes around it like that? Yep. Even if we have to notch just this little yeah. corner piece out? Yep. To clear this, or vice versa, oh, we, we can, can notch, notch that. that. I agree. Well, this. I mean, it's not like we can't make a solid connection no matter what we do. Yeah, and then if we notch this out, yeah. put that in there, and we just run a bead. Agreed. Porta band well, has... Can you imagine us trying to do this without Josh? No. No. Shit. Shit. That's, that's the scary part, huh? Because you can't feel a difference, can you? Not with that. No. Like, I'm... Oh, I think you're there. You're there. Yep. We'll have to probably use a cutoff wheel on that, huh? Yeah. Don't excited. Don't excited. Don't excited. You excited, Jeff? So excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not filming, I'm taking pictures, Mug. Now I'm lying. Now I'm filming, I see your phone. Yeah. So Jost obviously used the porta band but I think for simplicity reasons, Artec just said, cut the two inches. Because if like a bug was doing it, you'd want it simple. Two inches, baby, everywhere. Oh, you already got your cut on the side over here? Mm -hmm. Or um, oh, you do, yeah. cut out a small piece, that <laughs> way. That's kind of what I was almost thinking. Yeah. Just to get a starter thing. That. I think Cutting that's what that. Off-Road yeah. Hub did, and then he chased it. You can get it done. There we go. Yeah. That's what's up. Brilliant. You know, that wasn't that hard. Maybe we do just cut the... The whole thing? Yeah, that was simple. As I walked in. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> Gosh, man. Uh, that was... <laughs> I mean... I mean, do it all day. Oh, I didn't even break a sweat on that one. <laughs> yeah, doing the suckers is a good idea. Honey. That's how safety got to me. Safety first. No, actually, safety's what? Third. Safety third. Proper boots on. Yeah. 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 Like Joe said, it's just easy work. Wow. <laughs> Why not go all the way around? I thought it was going to be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Freaking awesome, Josh. Some scarring. Very little. Nothing there. I mean, not even a millimeter. So yeah, you got some wedges now. That's oh, sweet. there you go. Uh, hold the axle, like, right? There. Worked out perfect. Oh, nice. And then you pull the wedge out and it stays. It stays? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. There we go. That's it, man. That's going to be... That looks... Oh, no, that's a porta band That's pretty damn good out there. That was sweet. Freaking awesome. That one's deep-ish. That one's not... This one easily was, fixable though. Yeah, I am going to do something. Tech, 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 tech. I don't use my earplugs for hearing. Okay. I use them for plugging holes. Oh, that's I want smart as hell. In. And they expand, so that's fantastic. <laughs> that's awesome. And it grows when they're happy. Right. It does. All good things do. They do. Yeah, they do. Good job. That. Does that fit good? It kind of rests. Oh, here. And then this guy can probably sit. Oh, I see why even it connects there. They want that clearance right there, even right with the angle. Mm -hmm. It would have hit. That's perfect. Yeah. And then I'm also going to do a full bead yeah. around that hole. Now we are switching gears to what the plan is for welding up the truss. I'll do full welds up here. Tack these into place just up here, flip it, weld the inside stuff, put it back on and then do, but I got everything marked. 
Now it's time to clean up the axle so that we can weld on the truss. That's amazing. And these purple pads are perfect for it. They cut right through that coating. I can feel that all over here. <laughs> We've got the boys tag team in this project now. And Josh has the torch out. He's going to cut the notch out for our airline for our locker. Now let's watch this torch in slow-mo. Josh is doing the notch for our airline coming out of our desk. Bug's running away from Josh because the bug is getting sparked out. All right, Bug, get a grinding, Buggy. Bug's got a grinder axle. Bug prepping the axle for welding. Wait till you see how big the diff looks compared yeah. to you. Well, this is the axle ground down. Cleaned up ready for cleaned the Cleaned up for the uh, Cleaned up good enough. For the truss. I think it looks great. Time to weld up the truss so that we can put it on the axle. Who doesn't enjoy a few seconds of welding in slow mo? I get tired of trying to hold it together. <laughs> that works, right? Yeah. Yeah, as long as you Roll can get some, yeah. We'll yeah. It straight inside. Perfect, dude. That's awesome. Right Sweet. Before we prime this, I want to weld the inside. Yeah, because it's all clean metal these. right now, yeah. Because it's, those aren't going to move. It can't pull in, right? I could weld the outside of these. Weld the whole yeah. thing. Bridge. So it's the next day, we're back out here at Josh's and he was about to start welding. <laughs> and he remembered, weldable primer. Oh, I know that one more thing that we wanted to do is we do want to clean this up. If I could just quickly do a purple pad on it because I know we're going to want to um, do a... Um... Yep. So Josh and I get busy on the one ton build and I'm grinding down the axle so we can put 415 on it and Josh is welding up the truss doing the inside so that we can lay it on the axle look at those welds when I'm done sanding her down I apply this weldable primer doesn't that look pretty this is good stuff check out my Amazon store I do weld across the top of this and then on top of that and then my welds up these on both ends That ain't going nowhere. You like it? I was trying a couple different things and I didn't feel right. So I typically weld, like when you have two pieces of metal stacked there, typically weld, build, pull, build, mm -hmm. pull, and drag. Well, on these, when you got two here, I typically do a C motion. But all my C motions, like I feel like they're looking like this and this, which is still decent. This is a C motion. And then I go back to my pull and drag mm -hmm. and it looks way better. Absolutely. Yeah. In the shop, it's more of a stagnant air. Yeah. In here, you gotta turn up your gas pressure more. So see all the oh. dingleberries? <laughs> see your dingleberries. But yes. you're your hardest critic. The dingleberries just add strength. You didn't know that? <laughs> Let's, let me uh, flip this upside down right here on the stand. Okay. And then we can do weldable primer on the inside. Okay. And Josh put the weldable primer underneath the truss, and man, it looks good. Josh gets busy welding the truss to the axle. Instead of using a welding blanket to let the cast metal cool slowly, we peened the welds. But it's coming together and it looks so good. Josh is such a great welder. There you go. All this welding, it was bound to happen. We ran out of welding cable. 030. 030? Okay, wait, you just want to take this bug? You can do 030 or 035. So nothing stops Josh. Like he was like, we thought we were done. He's like, no, 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 I got a TIG. Right. And he has two, two spaces. What are you doing? What's, what's left? I do both these ends and then that back side. He's like, back up girl, I got TIG. 
And then we can talk. I love it, Josh. You can definitely tell we get more penetration with the TIG. Yeah, she's in there. If it ever falls off, these are just gonna rip off and these pieces are gonna stay up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned next time, guys, for when we finish up this Artec truss. We're gonna add the coal bucket, the lower coal arm mounts, and all the other goodies. Till then, bug out. <laughs>